Southern Colorado is not immune to destructive windstorms. In fact, recent data shows we get them about every two years in Colorado. But who is ultimately responsible if someone else's property causes damage to yours? That's the question one Colorado Springs family asked us to investigate after a cart corral in a King Supers parking lot blew into their car while they were shopping. Now, King Super says they aren't responsible, but a local attorney says that's not always true. On the morning of December 15th, 2021, a major windstorm rolls through Colorado Springs. I-25 Garner the Gods intersection, when was a 92 mile per hour gust? Our weather team clocked 90 mile per hour wind gusts that day at the Colorado Springs Airport. Letty Demare says her family's Subaru was parked at the King Supers grocery store on Centennial and Fillmore in the Springs when a shopping cart corral blew into their car. The staff was out trying to move this thing off our car. The King Supers staff moved it off the car and put it on the side and one of the staff took a picture. She says a King Supers employee took photos of the damage and we took our own after meeting with Letty in person. The rear hatch was damaged. It was uh, hit pretty hard and, and pieces of the, the rear hatch were broken off. She says at first, King Supers seemed willing to address the car's damage. The manager said he would check with the insurance or whatever and then call back and, and nothing ever happened on that. We never got a call back from the manager. The company Sedgwick, which manages claims on behalf of King Supers, sent Letty and her husband this denial letter, saying their investigation revealed no negligence and called the matter an unfortunate incident. We presented these facts to attorney Stephen Longo. He's not associated with either party in this case, but we wanted to get an expert opinion based on what happened. Anytime we go shopping uh, at any store, any place that is open and inviting us in for business, come shop here, come buy something here, come look. We are designated under Colorado, um, Colorado law under the Premises Liability Act as an invitee. And under that standard or that designation of what we're there at that property for, it means that the business needs to protect us from known dangers or dangers that they should know about upon a reasonable inspection. Since this windstorm was predicted days in advance by local meteorologists in southern Colorado, Longo says this fact could help the family with an appeal. So if we're talking about a cart corral that gets blown over by uh, high winds because it's not bolted down correctly, and they should have known that it wasn't bolted down correctly if they would have checked on it periodically, uh, had maintenance sweeps, maintenance crews, things like that, they can still be found negligent. For more than a month, News 5 Investigates has made several attempts to talk about this case with King Supers. A spokesperson initially said they were looking into our inquiry and would call us back. That was back on March 18th. Since then, not a single one of our follow-up phone calls or emails has been answered. For 40 years I've been shopping there, and now they, you know, they, they don't want to take responsibility for their, their car corral hitting our car and damaging it. If that had hit a person, You know, it's been quite tragic. Fortunately, no one was hit. Now, I did get a hold of Sedgwick, the company that denied the damage on behalf of King Supers. We asked them if they could review their denial and provide the customer with information on filing an appeal. So far, Letty says she's heard nothing back, but will keep pressing for answers. Eric Ross, News 5 Investigates.